what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of B is for Build. We're here working on the 1967 Mustang Fastback. This one happens to be very, very much wider, that stuff, and it's mid-engine. And we are right smack dab at the, the end of the deadline to get this thing ready to be displayed at the Holly booth at SEMA. We have today, we have tomorrow. If you want a little refresher on this car, we bought it a couple months ago off of a movie set. It was a Bugatti, a fake Bugatti in the Need for Speed movie. It got crashed in that movie. We bought it, stripped it all the way down to the bare chassis, cut that chassis up a couple times so it'd be more Mustang shape dimensionality wise. Threw a 1967 Mustang fastback body on it, took it racing. We we're almost done with the build when we found this design online and we really, really liked it. So I contacted the designer and asked him, hey, can I build your car in real life? And he said, sure thing, I'd love it. So then we started building it. Fiberglassing in custom wide body over fenders, building new side skirts, getting everything smoothed out and vinyl wrapped brings us to where we are today. We have some absolutely amazing custom wheels that were made for this vehicle that we're gonna be showing you today. We got the interior to finish out completely and then we're gonna be jumping into the engine bay, direct port nitrous injection. Good stuff, stay tuned. Last few episodes on this have been normally spanned over about a week and a half. Now we got to cram about a week and a half worth of work into a day. So join us for our day. We're going to go ahead and get started in the interior here. We got a dashboard to finish, screen to mount, dash pad to bolt in. Let's get that wrapped. Not like wrapped wrapped, but like let's get it wrapped up. Alright guys, the dash section of the interior is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this safety. There we go. Ta-da! Now, um, to make that thing uh, actually light up and, and our keypad manage our power distribution, there's a lot more work to be done. But this is a really, really cool step. This is basically a 100% custom Mustang dash to fit our needs and I love it. We still have more interior work, but we wanna get a lot of the wiring and the cabling stuff done before we uh, put the carpet in. It'd be really bad to put new carpet in and then have to be trying to run wires underneath it. And we also got a really banging new shifter. So we've shifted our attention to more wrapping and more blingy stuff. This back cleaned up so nicely. We've got all the accents on here. Everything's looking good. We're gonna put our logo right here. Um, and we're looking really good. This is what the rear quarter like sail panel looks like, all fully wrapped out. It's looking beautiful, guys. It's looking really, really beautiful. Wait till you see it with the side skirt, the flats and the uprights, it's just nuts. So we've got the trunk lid, Oscar fabricated that and we know how it's being held down. The next thing is the, the middle fill panel leading into the rear hatch area with the glass. This needs to be a fully removable thing, which is completely custom. Building, you know, the fastback glass that doesn't glue in, it doesn't seal in. It's going in and needs to be able to come back out so we can service the engine bay. The idea is it should look just like this when we need to service it. You just step over this piece, you walk into your engine, and you do any engine work. So that's what we're gonna do next. Start with the rear fill panel. We're gonna be building a surround that can, is, uh, can hold the weight of the glass on this edge right here that also bolts in, well, slots in and slots out. We'll be gluing our glass to that.
thought of something. I want to interrupt the grind for just a second to, to do something good. You're probably thinking that's some weird looking floor tiles. Those are, those are actually laptops. That's 146 laptops that we have collected from various people and companies to donate. A little over a year ago, one of my very close friends, Blanche, passed away from a brain tumor. And one of the places that she loved and was near and dear to her heart is Guatemala. She actually took me there and uh, I got to see that place firsthand. It's a wonderful place. There's a lot of people there that are in need. We got linked up with a charity and I wanted to do something in her honor. So we're doing some builds to send down to Guatemala, but most importantly is what they need for la our laptops. They go to these students that are in need. There's a lot of students in Guatemala that are actually um, doing college level schoolwork and classes on a cell phone. So we set a goal of collecting 200 unused, basically discarded laptops, and we're at 164. So because of the logistics of it, unfortunately we can't just do like onesie twosie stuff, but if you work at a company and you're phasing out a line of laptops and uh, you have some, um, hit me up, Chris at BS for Build. We just need to raise 40 more laptops. I'm sure we'll do it with this last shout out. And then we and these are heading out to Guatemala to get them in the hands of some people that really need them. Windows laptops, that's it. Let's do some good, back to work. All right guys, it is 3 a.m. Most of the wrapping, almost 100% of the wrapping is done. A big, big change is our, our front grill space is all blacked out now, so we gotta build the grill, put the headlights in. Oscar's got a great smile on his face right now. I'm glad you like the look of it. I like the look of it as well. I think it really makes it look more aggressive. It's like, looks mean now. Before it kind of looked like a smiley face, now it's like, now it's mad. Now it's, it's mad. mad face. We got, some, uh, we got some alignment to do on the hood, um, but, it's all looking very, very good. And then um, Oscar is about 90% of the way through of building our, basically our rear hatch and window glass holder. He's working on the slotting mechanism right now. And then that back piece bolts in right through here. So we're really, really close to doing glass. Well, that's so exciting. And once we're done with that, and then we build our little clips for the trunk lid, that's all the body panels done on this car Ooh, for, the, for the first time ever. Yeah. That's epic. Oh, we gotta put the side I think we should put side skirts on at the very end so nobody hits one and damages it. Or damages themselves. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I don't think you're gonna damage the side skirt. You might damage your ankle. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll wait on the side skirts. Man, this looks so good. Oh, dude. <laughs> we could sit around and look at it all day, but we gotta get to it. Okay, we're gonna get this rear glass in. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day from when we were started filming. It's about 2 p.m. and we were gonna end this episode and, and uh, earlier, but we had some really good news. Our tow truck driver realized that he could potentially take off about 24 hours later, uh, exactly 24 hours later than we had planned. So instead of having two days-ish, we turned it into three. So we've been sleeping in shifts. People are getting a little bit of sleep here and there. Uh, progress has been really, really good, but a little bit slow because these are big, big pieces. Oscar has got this rear 
um, hatch. Yeah, it's a rear hatch now, finished. We don't have our window molding in here all the way around yet because we're, we're kind of doing uh, it a weird way and we're letting letting the glass get in there and then, and then dry and then we're gonna add it. But basically underneath this glass, what it's glued to is a frame that's connected to this too. So you unbolt here, unbolt here, and then when you lift up the glass and the underlying frame come out of some slots that are right there in the top. So it slots in and slots out. So when you want to service your engine, you can take your trunk lid off, you can take this and all the glass off, and then you can work on the engine like that. And you will see that in the next episode when we have a lot of engine stuff to do. And of course, the guys also got the front windshield in. This one's got the molding all around. It's very interesting how dark it is on the inside of this car. You really can't see like anything in there, but that's fine. We're still gonna make the interior nice. But before we do that, this is our rear bumper. It needs to be modified. I shrunk it up at one point, um, took a little bit out of it. These don't usually fit from factory. I don't know why, but anyways, I took some out of it. We need to maybe put some back in or move some mounting points, I'm not really sure. Then we got a bunch of holes that we gotta plug, apply some body filler and get it all smoothed out so it can go white like the rest of the car. So this black panel piece is black and then the bumper is white. Just jumping into the bumper and we, we thought we were just widening this thing a little bit, but that is not the case. I wanted to show you guys before we spent forever working on this. So basically the body line comes down here. Go ahead and put it so it closes the gap up. If you close the gap up, this thing is basically like covering up our taillights in weird spots and really getting into, I mean, completely covering that up. Just looks really, really weird. So we're gonna have to drop it down and then custom build out these end pieces. I think we're gonna go up a little bit more, right like that, because the body line's supposed to have some overlap. And then uh, we're gonna have to custom build these end pieces to keep coming up and follow up. So luckily Oscar is a very, very skilled metal worker fabricator and he can handle this, but it, it is a very, very challenging piece and we're on a very, very tight deadline, but we'll, we'll get it knocked out and then I like that bumper placement. Also, we're gonna flush in all these holes because our bumper mounts in and bolts in from the back. Cruising right along through the day. It's about 9 p.m. We're almost done with this bumper. We went for metal backing, fiberglass, body fill, smoothing everything out. Kyle's been working on the doors right here. We've got the door card installed with the handle for the door open and the handle for the window roller. So we're gonna be jumping into the interior side now. We're gonna go ahead and give this a clean out and see if we can get some carpet in here. Carpet would be really nice. All right guys, it is 5 a.m. and we got carpet in the middle section. We've got to do this tunnel, but we're working on some special ops for the shifter area. So um, since the, the bolt store is closed at 5 a.m., we need to switch gears. Oscar, you ready to see some wheels on this bad boy? Heck yeah. First time on the ground with the wheels on it and the side skirts. They haven't even seen the side skirts installed yet. It's like cherry on top. You guys, here comes the wheels. Damn! <laughs> Expletives were said in the shop when this thing got down on the ground. Oh my God, you guys, this is crazy. Seeing it on the ground, you can really really it's just it's wide you could just see how crazy wide we made it and how it's got this hourglass shape to it and these wheels and everything it's just such a good combo now it may go even lower because it's literally sitting on the quick jack 
Well, we got to get the side skirts on for you guys because the side skirts help box this thing out so much as well. It would be doing an injustice if we, oh my God, this is the best looking car we've ever made. Like it really is. I'm so happy. We have 36 hours until we got to go to SEMA and I'm just so happy. We still got a lot of stuff to install, but I'm still so happy. All right. Yeah, we need a mirror. Dang. All right, guys, let's get the side skirts on here. We're going to have to figure out how to get it off the ground and off the quick jack. We'll get a side skirt on here and show you guys the complete um, new. This is epic. I'm at a loss for words. I need to wash my face. Yeah, this is one of those pull your camera out type of moments. Take a picture, be very happy of what you've made. Side skirts are on. You can see we just followed the rendering with the, uh, the original design of the side skirt and they look really, really good. This is epic. So these wheels are pretty crazy. They're 12 inches wide. They're wrapped in Nitto NT01s. Huge thanks to Nitto for sending us out some epic tires for this thing and we will, we will get the dust off of them, I promise. Well, let's talk about these wheels. They're made by American Racing. They're, they're a size variation of their VF545 model. I wanted a really beefy looking five spoke wheel to kind of throw it back a little bit to the style of Mustang wheel, but obviously be really custom. And then, so each wheel is 12 inches wide. We have a massive contact patch on this car because we do want to autocross it and stuff like that. And then in the rear though, we have a crazy offset. It's a negative 140 offset. So. The wheel is 12 inches wide and the mounting face is all the way over here and all the rest of it is dish. It's pretty incredible. And we got hooked up with these wheels by our friends over at Throttle. They are partnered with American Racing who made them and they hooked us up. They sponsored us with these wheels. And in return, my friends over at Throttle wanted me to tell you about a sweepstakes they got going on. They're giving away a Corvette Z06 plus 20 grand in cash. And you can enter the sweepstakes and secure your chance to win by shopping at throttle.com. I'll put it right here on the screen for parts or merch. And while you're there, use my code BUILD, B-U-I-L-D, and save up to 15% site-wide. And for every $1 that you spend, gets you one entry into the Z06 sweepstakes. And that sweepstakes ends really soon, guys. So go check it out now, it ends October October 31st, 2022. So go hit that link in the description. Thanks Throttle for hooking us up with these amazing wheels. I'm so happy about this. So let's do a quick walk around. It's 5 a.m. right now. We have uh, no headlights, no front grill. We gotta get that together. Our hood pin latches go to air. So that's gotta be done. Our interior is um, not there. So we need to do things like the shifter, a lot of stuff. And then on the back, we, we gotta do a transformation. This car is going in the Holly booth and we don't have nearly enough Holly products on here. So we have a direct port nitrous injection system, Holly high ram, Holly EFI, a ton, a ton of really cool stuff to go into this engine bay. And then we gotta clean it up and make it really, really nice to accentuate the fact that this car is mid engine. And we have about 30 ish hours to do it from right now. So it's gonna be cram time. We also have another build getting finished up. It's exciting. Guys, if you're going to SEMA, this will be at the Holly booth. If not, the finale episode will air the same day that this thing gets uncovered at SEMA, November 1st, 10 a.m. Everybody gets to see it at the same time. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of the amazing support on this build. Please remember to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on our future builds as well or any more content on this thing. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. See you soon. Peace. Come on.